we have a distinct advantage doing this question because it very much resembles this one we did here. You see that? Okay. Namely, that cos is negative. So again, I'm in the second or third quadrants, right? I might say that. Okay. Um, cos is negative. Therefore, theta is second, third quadrant. Okay. So to get my base angle, this guy here. I'm going to go cos inverse, and I'm going to ignore that sign, 7 over 11, okay? Uh, which gives me, has anyone got <coughs> faster than me? <coughs> I'm getting 50 degrees, yep. 50 degrees, yep, okay. So there's my approximate angle to the nearest unit, okay? So what am I going to do with this? In the second and third quadrants, it's going to be, 180 take away 50, 180 plus 50, okay? And it actually is worth writing that down rather than going straight to what the actual answer is. The uh, 130, which is the first one, or what's the other one? 230. Um, it benefits you to put this line down. That's why I'm putting it down, for two reasons at least. Number one, it shows that you understand what you do with these, and you're not just pulling these out of the hat. And secondly, if you happen to get these wrong, and you're going back and you're trying to work out, well, what happened, okay? If these answers come out of thin air, it's, it's hard to work out you know, what the problem was. Whereas this, it's like, oh, I accidentally took away 40 instead of 50, or I added it instead of subtracted, or whatever it might be. The more working you have there, the easier it is to diagnose what's gone wrong. How come you don't go 270 minus the angle? Ah, okay, great question. So. Why am I going, because you've got 180 here and 360 here, why not 270? Good question. So I'm going to now appeal back to the, here we go, the unit circle. That's a very good question. Um, if you're asking the same question, maybe you want to draw a unit circle with me as well. It doesn't have to be big or beautiful, but. <clears throat> okay, now, do you remember when we were working out, okay, I want to stop thinking about cos and sine just in triangles. I mean, obviously they live in triangles, but I haven't drawn many today, right? I want to think about them just as angles sitting out on their own. That's why we introduced this guy, the unit circle, okay? But we had to start with triangles, because trigonometry, right? So we began here in the first quadrant, and I drew a triangle like this. I hope you remember it, okay? It looked like that, right? Here was my right angle triangle, okay? And if I'm in the unit circle, the hypotenuse is 1, because it's a unit radius, right? So there's the radius, okay? And then if you use that as theta, okay, you find out that this distance along here is cos, and this distance up here is sine. And that's where we get these coordinates from. Okay, so, so far so good you remember this, right? And when you go over here to the left-hand side, okay, what kind of tri triangle would you draw that would be equivalent to this, right? And the kind of triangle you draw would be one that is a mirror image, like so. Okay, it would look like that, right? Now, the reason why this is important is because if I put theta here, okay, the actual angle that I've gone around on the unit circle has gone from here all the way around to here. Do you see that? If I can even really draw it in. All the way from here <coughs> over to here. Okay, so if I have theta in this little triangle here, right, what's the size of that green angle? Uh, we have it on the board, right? It's 180, take away the little angle, right? Because 180 is the straight line. Do you agree with that? So I've got theta, I've got 180 minus theta, they're, they're supplementary, <coughs> okay? Now that's in the second quadrant. When I come down to the third quadrant, what will the triangle look like, okay? Now, the triangle is, again, just like this was a reflection over here, okay? This is going to be a reflection down this way. Oops, wrong top. Like so. So there's my right angle triangle. Now, if I want theta in there, it's there, okay? So now my green angle is not going to stop here. Rather, it's going to start from the positive axis and go all the way around to here, okay? Now can you see why? Look, from here to here, there's 180, right? All the way around, that'd be 180. And then to get to the actual angle I want, I add theta. I add theta. So that's why this is 180 plus theta. What would it look like if it was 270 take away? I'll just show you. It's going to look something like this. 
unit circle, triangle one, triangle two, there's 270, right? So to go backwards from there, I would draw this triangle? That just looks wrong, yeah. okay? It's like, what happened to my beautiful, I'm actually gonna get a butterfly when I finish this off, right? So you can see, to get, if that's theta, if I wanted the actual angle to be 270 take away theta, the triangle's in the wrong spot for the actual angle I want, okay? So 180 plus, last one quickly. To get my last four quadrant, I'm going to again, reflect down this way, right? If theta is there on the inside, okay? And I've gone all the way around here, how close am I to getting to 360? And the answer is, theta. I'm that close, theta, right? So I'm 360 take away theta. And so that's the explanation 